So who will be the next owner of the Denver Broncos in the more than 100-year history of the National Football League? All the owners have been white. There has never been a black primary owner. Commissioner Roger Goodell now saying it is time that that changed. And the upcoming sale of the Denver Broncos certainly provides an opportunity. Connor McHugh reports tonight on one way the league could make the pool of buyers more diverse. Ultimately, the Papal and Trust will pick the highest bidder, and the NFL owners will vote to approve them. But all of that could be weeks, if not months away. In the meantime, there are calls for the NFL to include a bigger and more diverse pool. Valued at nearly $4 billion, the Denver Broncos could set records with their eventual sale, but the pool of bidders is under more scrutiny than ever. It's something Commissioner Roger Goodell addressed ahead of the Super Bowl. We would love to see a diverse uh, owner of the team. But finding someone with enough money is going to be hard. A longtime NFL rule requires a principal owner hold 30% of the team. For the Broncos, that's about $1.2 billion. You're not even talking about a small pool. You're talking about a birdbath, a very small birdbath uh, of candidates here. A new report by Sports Business Journal says the NFL could make a one-time change to the rules for how much an owner has to pay up front, making the pool of candidates bigger and more diverse. Such a change would benefit interested bidders like Biden. Byron Allen, who wants to bid, but may not have the money. You can't mathematically reach your diversity goals if they're impossible to reach. Ultimately, the highest bid will still win, but a change would give more and bigger investment groups a chance. I, I don't see any benefit in having the rule waived one time because you're going to have this problem the next time a franchise comes around. Commissioner Goodell says he has been working with potential black owners on their bids. The NFL has not said whether it is considering any rule change. At Mile High, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. And CNBC reports that another group of people want to use crowdfunding and cryptocurrency to try and raise the funds to buy the team. They would also be subject to that 30% ownership rule unless it is changed.